3.7 Derivatives of Logarithmic Functions. Just a quick review of what y equals log base a of x means. It just means that a to the y power equals x. So these are synonymous. That's just the definition of a logarithm. So what we want to do here is try and find what the derivative of log base a of x is. In order to do that, we're going to start with this equation. And then we're going to take the derivative of each side. Remember that we memorized the derivative of a to the x was a to the x ln a. So we're going to use that. The derivative of a to the y would thus be a to the y ln a times y prime. Don't forget to chain. That's the baby. And then the derivative of x is just 1. So if we want to solve for y prime, we get 1 over a to the y ln a. And if we look back at what we started with, we let a to the y equal x, so we can replace this a to the y with an x. And so found that the derivative with respect to x of log base a of x is equal to 1 over x ln a. This is another one you should memorize. So as we just said, we now know that the derivative with respect to x of log base a of x equals 1 over x ln a. And we're just going to look at the special case where we have log base e, or the natural logarithm. And that derivative would just be 1 over x ln e. And since ln e is just 1, we get just 1 over x. So let's just quickly go back to our previous slide. And let's try and derive this in a different way, remembering that the derivative with respect to x of ln x is 1 over x. This is going to be a common one that we see going forth with this course. This one's a little less common that you'll see. But um, knowing this, let's go ahead and look at our original problem, y equals log base a of x. Using our change of base formula, isn't that just ln x over ln a? So, I'm just going to re-express that as 1 over ln a times ln x. And the reason I'm doing that is because the next step where I want to take the derivative, 1 over ln a is a constant that I can pull out. And then I just take the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x. And I have the same formula. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's try and find this derivative. So we definitely have a chain rule. Here's our baby. And so the derivative of ln is just 1 over x. In this case, our x is x cubed plus 1. And then we need to chain it. Take the derivative of the baby, 3x squared. So that's our final answer. What you just previously saw, but kind of formalized, the derivative with respect to x of ln u would just be 1 over whatever u is, so that's the chain rule, so that would be our box, 1 over box times the derivative of the baby, du dx is the derivative of the baby. Similarly, the derivative of ln g of x, this is what would be in our box, we would get 1 over box times the derivative of g of x, the baby, which is g prime of x. So these are just saying the same thing that we've been saying all along. So let's go ahead and find the derivative with respect to x of ln sine x. So here, sine x is our baby, and the derivative is just going to be 1 over x times the derivative of the baby, and co 
cosine over sine is just cotangent. Example three, let's just re-express this as ln x to the one-half power. Here's our baby. The derivative is just going to be one over x to the one-half times the derivative of the baby. That's it. You can leave your answer just like that. The next one, here's our baby. Keep in mind that the derivative with respect to x of log base a of x was 1 over x ln a. This is our box. The derivative is just going to be 1 over, instead of x, we'll replace it with 2 plus sine x. ln a. And then we have to remember to chain it. And the derivative of 2 is just 0. The derivative of sine is cosine. So that's our answer. And this is going to be a little bit of a proofy example, but it is an important one to know. Let's rewrite this um, as a piecewise function, just like we did when we were first dealing with the absolute value of x. So just rewriting f of x as... Well, it's just going to simply be the ln x if x is greater than 0, and it's going to be ln negative x if x is less than 0. Remember that the ln of 0 does not exist, so we shouldn't be making either of these inequality. When I want to take the derivative, I can just find the derivative as a piecewise function. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. Then the derivative of ln negative x, well, this is a chain rule. Here's our baby. It's going to be 1 over negative x. Don't forget to chain the baby. That equals 1 over x. So we just found that f prime of x equals 1 over x regardless for all x's, just so it doesn't equal 0. So that's pretty neat. We just found that the derivative with respect to x of ln absolute value of x is always 1 over x. This is going to be particularly important when we start doing things backwards. We start with the derivative and we want to find the function in the antiderivative section, the second half of the course, which we're not going to worry about right now, but I'm just mentioning it. And that's it for this lesson.